All right, well today was one of those days where we shot what's called a split, which is half the day is during the day, and the other half of the day is at night. We got to shoot a scene where uh, Jesus is actually recruiting a new disciple, and a new disciple is committing to follow him, a disciple whose past is not quite suited for what Jesus actually wants him to do, which is true of many of the disciples. Two, two moments where it felt like you were almost too casual was, I think, doing this. Yeah. It doesn't feel right. It feel right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I got like, stuck in it. Yeah, yeah. I think once he tells you, I want you, but why? Yeah. Sure, Rabbi? I mean, I think there's a, an eagerness. Right. I mean, you've been, you've been, you've been we're eager gonna, your whole life. We're going to need to fight. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. But we're going to need to fight. Yeah, yeah. So in the first half of the day, we shoot this scene between Jesus and this new disciple. And there's some intrigue as there's someone who's following them and watching what they're doing because, again, when we're called by Jesus, sometimes our pasts don't go away just yet. And then tonight, we got to see more of Matthew and Simon and the tension that continues to build between the two of them and how Jesus is actually somewhat, at times, trying to modulate that tension. Sometimes he forces the two of them to be together because he wants them to sort it out. When you're talking to Simon, you're not sad. You're, you're, you're convincing him this is important because because this is good for Matthew, it's good for Simon. Yeah. So you, that, that's your task at that moment. I think the decision is made when you say, I'll take him. Yeah. I'll take him. Yeah, that, that, that's, what I, that's what I felt, which is... Yes, and then the... To keep that tension, right? Yeah, but I think, I, th I still think you need to communicate to your rabbi. Uh -huh. You need to physically show that, that you are listening to him. And we'll see, we'll see in the yeah. coverage, too, that you're not thrilled. Yeah. You know, you'll say, I understand, but it doesn't have to be, I understand. Yeah. But it's also not, uh, yeah. it's just this middle ground of like, mm-hmm. One of the things we struggled with tonight was uh, we were trying to have a little bit of fog go over the water. And so sometimes at night scenes, you'll see um, where there's moonlight. One of the reasons you can see the moonlight is because there's haze, and that haze is usually created uh, by our special effects supervisors. The, our special effects supervisor on this show is Chris Wilkes, who does a great job. Out in the middle of the field and uh, out in the middle of this pond, it's very difficult to get haze or some smoke to stay put because the wind changes directions. I don't want to spend the next three hours hoping that the wind is going right. Uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. So, all right. So let's, let's, let's lose the haze and go back and shoot one more wide without it and then not be reliant on wind patterns the rest of the night. And that's just one of the things you deal with sometimes in filmmaking where uh, you, you're trying to make it look natural. You're trying to make sure we can see the moonlight. You're trying to make sure that it looks like there's a little steam coming off the water. And, uh, but behind the scenes, it's actually quite obnoxious and annoying. But we got through it, we made our day, uh, we finished everything we needed to get done, and uh, tomorrow is our last day of the week, and then we get to sleep. So we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for checking out our video. In exchange for all of the free content we're giving out, if you wouldn't mind clicking the subscribe or the notification bell, checking out the links in our description, it would really mean a lot. It actually helps the show and our channel get out in front of more people. Thank you so much.